Most people in America are quite familiar with corporate abuse. Corporate abuse is when a company executive sends a lower level manager to investigate something going on at a lower level. Oftentimes when that person gets to the lower level, he finds and discovers that the employees at the lower level have done something illegal and immoral. But what usually happens after that is that he tries to cover it up and he tries to teach the employees what they learn and what they know and how to abuse people and get out of their deceit. The deceit that people tell themselves is that I'm in charge of you, I'm in charge of me, and I'm in charge of anybody on the street. And that is the deceit you have in front of God. The problem we have today is not that people aren't liable. The problem we have today is that companies don't want their employees who are immoral and illegal to be liable. The problem is what they don't recognize is that other people have already played in with the FBI, other people have already played in with the police department, and other people have already played in with the truth of life. That the truth of life says that if you harm someone in the night or during the day without provocation, without instigation, without any sort of evaluation of your life versus their life, you are literally looking at a karma that you can't get out of. So if your life is not where you'd like it to be, if your wife is not what she should be, if your family and your children are not happy, that might be on you and the liabilities to you to the Lord. Now, it might sound like I'm being judgmental, but the truth is God is speaking. And when God is speaking, we have to be willing to be listening. And if God is rebuking, then mighty God has a right to be rebuke you. Or does he not? Is the Heavenly Father and the Divine Mother of all the universe, does he or she have the right to rebuke you? I'd like you to contemplate that concept. As a pagan priest, I can put it out there, but of whatever faith you believe in, I'd like to know, do you believe in that? Do you believe that Jesus Christ, or whatever you call God in your life, has the right to rebuke you and literally revenge upon you for the lies and the thieving and the abuse that you put on other people's lives?